four Minneapolis police officers have been fired and released from the force for their involvement in the death of George Floyd. Firing is a first step, but an arrest and a conviction is what I want to see. Let's talk about it. Yo, what's up? I'm Jaded Nerd, and I want to talk to y'all about George Floyd. For those of y'all not familiar, George Floyd was involved with the police. They approached him because he was being accused of participating in an act of forgery, and they approached his car. Once he got out the car, they subdued him and they got him on the ground. The video that has gone viral showing the police officer with his knee on the back of his neck for an excess of seven minutes as bystanders, people who are recording, people that were just watching this happen in real time were saying, he's yelling out, he's, he's, he's moaning, you know, he kept saying, please, I can't breathe, my head, my stomach, he said everything hurts, he was crying out just to let him be able to breathe, just to be able to let him be able to breathe. These situations happen because the police become afraid and they say they are fearful, they say he's resisting arrest. But if he was handcuffed and if he was on his knees and then eventually was face down on the ground, that's not resisting. What about putting him in the squad car and letting the judicial process play out? Why not just do law enforcement and stop trying to be an executioner? You are not judge, jury, and executioner. Four officers responded to the scene. Three of them held this man down while the other one just stood back and watched. Not one of these officers had the wherewithal or the decency to say, you know what, this is not right. You know what, we need to intervene. This is a person, we are here to protect and serve, but they took it upon themselves to exact justice the way they want to. This happened a couple of days ago. There was a very small protest right after it happened, but a more organized protest happened tonight. So I want y'all to check out this news clip that I got. Check this out, see the protest, and then I'll come back with the rest of my commentary. Throughout the day, people have gathered in front of the 3rd Precinct and then near 38th Street and Chicago Avenue South where the incident happened. Fox 9's Alex Lehnard is live there tonight with the very latest. Alex? Yeah, this protest continuing to grow throughout the day today. We were here earlier on, and I'll tell you, there were roughly 25 to 50 people out here. And I'm going to step out of the frame to show you uh, what has transpired since then. As far as the eye can see going down Chicago here towards downtown, completely packed sidewalk to sidewalk with protesters out here. It extends the other direction as well. Crowds now blocking the intersection, as you can see, uh, protesting the death of George Floyd. And earlier on, while we were here, a, a new video coming into our newsroom that shows the moments before uh, Floyd was re uh, re put down by MPD. Uh, this video shows a uh, gentleman behind Floyd's car when officers arrived uh, and opening the door of uh, Floyd's vehicle. You can see here police talking with Floyd, who is in the, uh, the driver's seat there. Minneapolis police officers then pulling Floyd out of the car before then arresting him. Again, this video all taken before the video that we showed you earlier on uh, when Floyd was on the ground. Uh, the video then goes on to show uh, Floyd being taken over and handcuffed uh, sitting on a sidewalk. And that is what uh, everyone is out here protesting today. The protests again continuing to grow throughout the afternoon. Uh, they were blocking the intersection and obviously are still doing so by sitting on the sidewalk. And you can see by the video that we're showing you now just how much this protest has grown. A lot of people out here today with a lot of questions as to how exactly this happened. He was handcuffed. And he had his knee on his neck for so long and he was trying to tell him that he couldn't breathe. Uh, you know, and that's what bothered me most. Because he was like a, he treated him like he was a bug. And that's what we heard from uh, several other people out here today. And again, this protest continuing to grow. It officially started at five o'clock, but people have been out here all day and will continue to monitor this situation as it does develop. Whatever the crime was and whatever he was doing was nonviolent, and it did not mean that he deserved to die. Dylan Roof went into a South Carolina church and he killed nine people. He was apprehended safely and they took him to Burger King. Let me repeat that for y'all. Dylan Roof killed nine people in a church, guns and everything. 
Law enforcement apprehended him safely, took him to Burger King because he said he was hungry and allowed the legal process to play out. Why have a criminal justice system if the criminal justice system can't play out? Why do we have law enforcement if they want to go above their pay grade and what they are there to do and kill people? Why not arrest this individual? Why not let the process happen out? What about rehabilitation? What about turning his life around? You made up in your mind that you were going to kill this man. When I first heard about this, I was devastated, but not as devastated as I should have been because this happens far too often in our country. The fact that these men have been fired, again, is okay, but unless they are going to be arrested and convicted and they serve serious time or get the death penalty for that matter, then it's going to continue to happen. Police officers kill unarmed black men and women because they know they can. And as long as they know they can, they will continue to do so. We need to shame these people. We need to call this out. We need to hold them accountable. A conviction is the only way that we can start showing that you can't kill innocent people. I, I, I just don't know how to fathom that. I don't understand that. But I want to ask the question to you all. How do you feel about this situation? Do you believe that an arrest will come? Do you believe that a conviction will come? Do you believe that a technicality or something will happen and we will not get the conviction? How do you feel about that? And also, how do you feel about multiple police officers needing to apprehend one man who was compliant, who was in handcuffs, who was subdued, and who was not resisting? And compare that to Dylan Roof, who killed nine people before the police arrived. They apprehended him safely, took him to Burger King because he was hungry, and let the judicial process play out. Put everything in the comment section below. I really want to hear what you all have to say. If you can, please throw a like on the video, subscribe and share. It is greatly appreciated. I am Jaded Nerd. I will talk to y'all next time.